Hi everyone and welcome back to channel IRS where I am continue my record 90 SP3 where I try to beat Fernando Alonso lap time which is 45.5 at Daytona Sundown Park with their go-kart D-Max 125cc Rotax engines and this is week number three of our record 90 SP3 and um, you know what I decided to do today uh, because we've been talking nearly about everything so we've been talking about barrel chassis which Daytona use on their two-stroke go-kart uh, we've been talking about Bridgestone tires again which they use on their go-karts and uh, just recently we've been talking about Rotex engines uh, previous my records uh, 90 SP we've been talking about circuit about racing line braking points acceleration points turning in points so actually we know lots and lots of information about Daytona Sundown Park about their circuit about their go-karts and uh, I decided that there is something more than just information about all these things. I think we need to talk to professional racing drivers. So where am I today? I am at Brands Hatch Circuit. What type of event I am visiting? Well... Right guys, so today I'm visiting Blancpain GT Series and uh, um, what is the idea of visiting this event because this is a very popular event in uh, Europe and uh, here we've got lots and lots of professional racing drivers and the racing equipment which they use it's a supercars GT series supercars so today I'll try to go around to catch up with the racing drivers to get some advices from them and maybe we will find that racing secrets how to be quicker how to win how to get the quickest lap times so right now behind me they're greeting for um, race number one here at the Brands Hatch and uh, So here he is. This is the race number one. Is on the way already. And uh, just now we had a someone. And on the first lap, someone spins. So uh, that's why drivers was driving so slow on this main straight, on this start finish straight. But uh, we're gonna get one hour action. So I'm gonna film it to you and I'm gonna show it to you right now. Let's go.
Right, guys. Uh, so, uh, just next to me, is Stefan Attel, right? Right. And uh, you are the actually the founder of the Blanc Pain. Yes. Can you tell to me and my uh, YouTube viewers a little bit more about Blanc Pain? How everything, how it started, how you, uh, what is it about? <laughs> it's about GT racing. It started 25 years ago. It was initially uh, called the VPR series, then the name changed to FIA GT Championship, and after it became the Blanc Point GT series. But it's basically the same GT Championship for 25 years. So it's a one, one long 25 years championship. Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, and, and when you start calling, it, why you start calling Blanc Pain, and when it started? Because, because when we run independently from the FIA, we saw that having a commercial partner was good, and. Uh, Blancpain is very prestigious, nice watch, uh -huh. and, uh, and so they wanted to associate the name with GT Racing, so we thought it was the perfect partner. And uh, can I ask you about uh, Blancpain vehicles, because it's a very interesting, it's a different model, so like we have a Mercedes, uh, Lamborghini. We have today, we have 12 different cars homologated in GT3, so Blancpain GT Racing is about the GT3 category, and we have 12 different manufacturers that produce, sell, assist and sometimes support GT3 vehicle and uh, so it's very close competition. And the, is those vehicles, are they to the same standards? Yeah, they are of course, they are to the same technical regulation, about the same power, about the same weight and then we apply what we call balance of performance to make sure that they run all equally. And uh, can you tell me the um, uh, how many rounds you have in the blank paint? And ten rounds. Ten rounds. And all Five. rounds around Europe, or it's uh... all all European rounds. And we have uh, that the blank paint city series in Europe. We have ten rounds, five sprint, five endurance. And then we have the Blancpain GT Series Asia, which has six races in Asia. Japan, China, Thailand and uh, Malaysia. So is the GT Series Asia is it different to Blancpain? It's the same. The same? The same regulation, the same cars, but a different continent. Aha! So the same drivers go to the different continents? Sometimes. Sometimes, some do, and some just do the European, and in Asia, of course, you have essentially Asian drivers. Mostly. <laughs> I know. Okay, and, um, um, you know, because I do on my YouTube channel, I do a project, I try to beat Fernando Alonso lap time on one of the UK circuits, on the rental cars, and, you know, I already filmed about engines, tires, about the chassis, go-kart chassis, you know, and uh, now I struggle to beat my lap times. So can you tell me, these professional racing drivers, where is the secret to keep consistency? How, how you should be prepared for that? You'd have to start racing when you're very young. That's usually what they do. You start with karting, then you do formula, then you do, you know, a lot of single seaters, and then you go into one max series, and then not the world of racing. You know, so, so it's, it's like every sport. If you start skiing when you're five year old, you're gonna ski better than if you start when you're 30. That's I have true. To go. Thank That's you true. very much. Thank you very much, sir. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs>
right guys so this is it <coughs> this is end of the day and um, uh, I'm, I'm really tired <laughs> I've been running around the circuit filming and uh, and uh, trying to catch the best shots um, unfortunately I took only one interview and that interview was you've seen that already it was uh, founder of Blanc Pain um, um, you know it's really really difficult to go and talk to the drivers at the events like this and <clears throat> the reason is because you know they they are concentrating they are concentrating before each race you know and uh, to go there and ask them questions about that and these on the camera um, I think it, it's for them it's a bit disconcentrating you know so um, I wanted I, I didn't want to disconcentrate anyone so I stay today just on the side I film just race and uh, thanks to And, uh, and thanks to Stefane Atal uh, for uh, that interview. Um, for, well, he had a lot of time as well, but uh, he spent a few minutes with me and uh, he spoke uh, about Blanc Pain. Yeah, but you know what? I can tell you this thing. I've been watching these drivers and, um, you know, it's something more than just... Than just know how to race no racing line you know it's it's more than that you know you can yes you have to know about your vehicle maybe uh, about the engine tires you definitely need to know of course you shouldn't be a mechanic or, or engineer you know but you need to have understanding about your vehicle uh, of course you need to have uh, knowledge about uh, racing line uh, about all the points braking turning in acceleration you know you you have to have that knowledge but you know when I'm when I've been watching that drivers and when you watch in their eyes you know you can see something more than just the knowledge you know, you can see that this is, in front of you, is the winner. And that doesn't matter which team it is, they all like a winners. You know, they, they, they all prepared here to win. They don't have any, any other, they, they, they don't have any other faults. They came here to win and they all, in their eyes, they are winners. And um, their concentration, their uh, mental preparation, uh, it's really, really strong. And um, let's say for me, yeah, I'm, yes, I'm practicing on the go karts. Uh, yes, I do some championships like a D Max, you know. But when you come here, you understand that you need more than that and you need more than just racing you need that winner attitude you have to be prepared to win every second every moment you know you you, you're never thinking like um okay i'm gonna go uh, when I'm gonna get on the track, I'll think about the strategy. N no way. These guys, I think they, they already have a strategy before they came here. They already have a strategy. They already know their opponents. They already know this circuit, know cars, uh, you know, and they 
already coming here with a feeling like they already won this race. I don't know, you know, not for everyone possible to concentrate like this, not for everyone possible to prepare yourself mentally like this. But we have to look for that mental preparation. We have to look for that uh, psychological uh, barriers, limits. We have to look for that because if we're going to say like, ah, okay, uh, these people like this and I am not like they are, then what's the point to do racing, driving at all? You know, no one's saying you that you are going to uh, win or you're going to lose today. But in your mind, for yourself, you have to be a winner. And you have to be prepared just for a winning. Doesn't matter what happened. So this is it, guys. I'm going to finish uh, week number three here at this moment where all the drivers uh, actually all the drivers already gone the teams they're packing up <coughs> the teams they're packing up and um, they're gonna go they're gonna go home some people here some people gonna go home different country it's a long way long journey um, <laughs> I have to drive only one hour from Brands Hatch and we're gonna start week number two See ya.